This is it. He's coming. I shall become the supreme ruler of Greece. Andy Bird, we are done for. It's time to give up Katerina. I rule Greece now. You can't just do this. Me and the Greek people will not let you. Prepare to die Katerina. Now say goodbye. Ha ha ha. Bird you are evil. I cannot believe you're leaving already, John. It feels like only yesterday that you were summoned to Athens. Indeed it does, Geraldine. Mind you, it only feels like yesterday that I was founding America. Time really flies fast. Anyway, I'm heading off to the Amsterdamland International Airport now. Love you, dear. Someone is calling me. It's Mrs. Callow. Hello. Hi, Geraldine. I don't need you to come into work today. Uh, you can have, you can have the day off. Go enjoy your upcoming birthday. Bye. Looks like I have the day off for my birthday. I shall go to my favorite micronation known as Heiner. Yes, my dear. You go do that. Oh, look, the Linden News is on. Hello, you're watching Linda News. The Greek government have announced the death of the Greek president, Katerina Sakalaropoulou. Not much information is known on how she died. However, the Greek government announced that the leader of Pearson Education, Andy Bird, will become the new temporary leader. This man is known by the Heinese government to be a selfish and manipulative individual. We advise that any Chinese citizens traveling to Greece take plenty of care and caution. My goodness. John, are you sure it's safe to go to Greece? This bird man seems very evil. Listen, Geraldine, my dear. I shall be fine. I know that bird opposes my amazing company because it rivals his, but I assure you I will be fine. Anyway, bye, love. Wow, Athens is such a beautiful place. But, I just don't have the time to spend touring the city, I must get to work in the Greek branch of Witherspoon textbooks. Now that I'm in charge of Greece, Pearson will become the greatest textbook company. Absolutely, Mr. Bud. However we still have many enemies and rivals, such as AQA and Witherspoon textbooks. We need a plan to stop them and become greater than great. Well, birds, I have come up with a plan to stop Witherspoon textbooks. I have tricked their leader, John Witherspoon, into coming there to Athens. I say we chop him in a lift and kill him. You know how to hack a lift, right, Sally? Yes, Ezra. Indeed I do. We shall go ahead with this plan then. But, Mr. Bird, if this goes wrong, you are a member of our reputation board. We cannot have blood on our hands, but... Well, he managed to get rid of that evil Katrina woman without any trouble. Yes. But is she confirmed dead? Like officially confirmed dead? <sighs> well, maybe. I don't know. All I know is that John Witherspoon, my enemy, is here and he needs to be eliminated. Okay then, we shall. But Esver's plan in action. <laughs> Amazing! We shall leave now and locate Witherspoon and kill him. I'm 
Sorry, dear. The stairs are out of order. You must take the lift. Okay, thank you, kind lady. I think you press this button. Or is it this one? I haven't a clue about it. Just press the big red button, I guess. Oh, yeah. How did I not see that? He's now in the lift. Operation Kill with a Spoon is underway. Amazing, darling. This lift is so eerie and mysterious. I wonder why. What was that? Prepare to die, Mr. Witherspoon. Well, John Witherspoon is dead. And it's all thanks to Ms. Lee. Why, thank you, Mr. Bird. I am honored to be the mastermind behind the plan that killed such a terrible nemesis. Yes, yes, well done. However, from what I've heard, Witherspoon's wife is quite a determined lady. I'm afraid she may come for revenge, so we must show her the full extent of our power. What are you suggesting, boss? Ms. Lorimer. Your first name is Linda, correct? Yes. Are you suggesting that discombobulated woman of the same name that those minor people worship like a goddess? Yes. This means you should become the anti-Linda. Your true form. You mean Admiral? Of course I can transform into Admiral mode for you Mr. Bird. We shall protect the Pearson brand. Yes. My empire will be massive. Everyone will bow down to Andrew Peter Bird. Even the citizens of Hyma. Indeed they will, boss. Maybe we should find that Linda lady and end her. An amazing idea. I checked with a spoon's phone and it appears that his wife, Geraldine, is in Hyma currently. Score. Go and end her. All right then. <laughs> Best wishes to you on this journey. I love the People's Republic of Hina so much. They decided to throw this massive party for me. It's so kind of them. I even got many cards and presents too. It is just an amazing feeling, I wish John was here with me though. Oh hello Xi Jinping. Hello Geraldine. I think the Chancellor of Hainan wants to speak to you. Nova is waiting in the backgrounds for you. Okay thank you Mr. Xi. You wanted to see me, Chancellor Nova? Geraldine, I hope you're enjoying the party. Your husband's dead. What? No, it can't be. My darling John Witherspoon, who has lived since 1723 and even helped found the USA, is dead. It's all Andy Bird's fault. What's the name of that powerful lady, and can she help me? You can ask Linda for support. Linda. Where can I find this Linda woman? Linda Supreme Church. So this is the Linda Supreme Church. Linda should be here. Come in. Oh Linda, please help me. My dear husband, John Knox Witherspoon, has been killed in Greece. I believe Andy Bird is to blame. He hated John and I believe Bird trapped and killed my husband. Please help me get my revenge, Linda. Of course it is Andy Bird. He is a very manipulative man. Him and his fellow Pearson executives have probably created a plan to kill him. Of course I will help you. But I cannot do it without your help Geraldine. You must learn to overcome your own obstacles, my dear. Well then it's best we head to Greece immediately then. Let's stop this evil company. What was that? Quick follow me. We are under attack. Who are you and why do you come to disturb the peace of our amazing country? I am 
Sam Tim score of Pearson education. You must leave. You are not welcome here. You dare to fight me? A great servant of Andrew Peter Bird. Yes, we do. We will force you to leave Haina. We will fight you if we have to. All right, then. I'll fight you. Okay, then. It's on. You have defeated me! That is why you don't mess with Linda. Well, I guess I'll tell you that it was Andy Bird who murdered your husband. And it was a well-deserved murder. <laughs> so it was him who murdered my darling John with a spoon. Come on, Linda. Let's go to Greece to get our revenge against Andy Bird. I am always watching. It seems like we are in some sort of theater, Linda. Indeed it does, Geraldine. Wouldn't it be very coincidental if an evil Pearson executive was hiding here waiting for us? Very much so. You called? I am Linda. Linda Lorimer from Pearson Education. I have come to kill you, in vengeance of my friend, Tim Score. He helped kill my husband and tried to kill us. In his own words it was a well-deserved death. Stop with this faffing around and let me become my true form. Prepare for Adnol. I am Adnol. The Anti-Linda. I harness a greater power than you, Linda. You won't be able to resist my power. Good luck even trying. <laughs> you are crazy, woman. Of course we will fight you. We will win no matter what. You seem very determined. More determined than that way the spoon man was when he died. Plus you can't defeat me. You don't have a sword. That's the only thing that can beat me. Unless you have one in your pocket or something. But you'd never have won there. Never say never, lady. What? How is this even possible? You cannot do this to me. I am Admiral, the great Andy Linda. No. It appears you have greatly damaged the container of my baby peach linen soul. I will take my revenge on you one day, Linda. Amazing work, Linda. You beat that Adnil creature. Thank you, Geraldine. She was like me but from Wish. Let's move on. We are getting closer to the Parthenon every second. Look Geraldine, we are nearly at the Parthenon. I can't wait to get my revenge on Andy Berg. The John. Hello. What was that? Ah, you must be Geraldine and Linda. Ah. It appears that you defeated Andy Berg. Well done indeed. That you will beat me and Sally. Are you two Pearson employees looking for a fight with us? Yes. We will. Indeed we will, Sally! You won't defeat the amazing Pearson education! They can't, but I will! Mitha! Who are you? Seems like a fish lady! 
Oh no. Oh no, here we go. I will fight you. How can we thank you enough, Mitha? You've helped us so much by ridding us of those vile Pearson people. Geraldine, I give you my grace. Use it to defeat Bird. Thank you, Mitha. It is much obliged. Now I must go to fight Bird. Alone. Don't look so worried, Linda. I'll be fine. You and Mitha have both had your shots at defeating Pearson Education, now it is my turn. I have my own powers plus the power of Mifa's grace to heal me if I am harmed. Please let me go Linda. Andy Bird took away my husband. Now I will take away his power and his life. If you insist Geraldine, please take the power of Linda's wrath. Use it to end that dictator. Thank you Linda. I shall leave now then. And let it be known that if fate ever parts us, I will remember you, Linda. Goodbye for now though. I'm finally at the Parthenon. I'm convinced Bird is here. You might want to be careful if you dare to go in the Parthenon, my friend. What was that? There's a rather dangerous man in there. Who are you? I am the ghost of Katerina Sekulara Paola, the president of Greece. Or at least, I was until Andy Bird killed me. You were also killed by Andy Bird? Is that how he seized power? Yes, we were informed that Pearson Education was going to attack us. The man who informed us was called Zeus but he was injured by Andy Bird after jetting into a fight. Before he died he informed us of an attack on Greece by this man. We gathered in the Parthenon to protect our valuable and historic property. But it didn't work. And then... Andy Bird killed me. That sounds terrible. Andy Bird also killed my husband, John Witherspoon. I'm here to get my revenge on Bird for him. And you. And all of Greece. I always had my faith in you, Geraldine. John. I can't believe I am seeing you again. You really shouldn't have gone to Greece. It was a trap. But don't worry, no. I will get my revenge and both of you can rest easy. It was a big mistake, I am certain. But now you can get your revenge. Good luck Geraldine. Bird is just ahead. Goodbye. Thank you for everything Geraldine. Goodbye John. I must leave now. I have to stop Andrew Peter Bird. I am now completely in charge of Greece. No one can stop me. Oh Mr. Bird, I have terrible news. Lee and Johnson told me Adnal is dead and they were forced to flee because of that Geraldine woman. You were right, she wants revenge. I am always right for destiny. And don't worry, as soon as I find Geraldine, I will kill her. I take it I came to the right place, Andy Bird. My my, look who's here. Geraldine. You killed my husband and the Greek president. I will take my revenge now. Both of those were well needed deaths. Besides, 
What are you even going to do Geraldine? You are weak, and pathetic. And you, Andrew Peter Bird, are the most evil man I've ever met. Fine then. Kordistani. Give me the feather of the Andy Bird. Here you go, boss. Geraldine. Do you know of the power this feather contains? It was taken from the legendary creature that I was named after. The Andy Bird. With it I will become so powerful. My power could only be matched by someone with plenty of wrath and grace. And that is certainly not you. Prepare to be crushed Geraldine. Okay bird, I'm ready to fight. achieved my calamity form. Mipha's grace is ready. Thank you Mipha, that was a close call. Also it looks like this man has met his demise. Now I will use my powers to fight Berg. How lovely of you to join me up here, Geraldine. I suppose that you are worthy enough to fight me. Challenge accepted, Bird. Good, good. Try harder, Andy Bird. What? How is this possible? At least you are putting up a fight unlike your good-for-nothing husband. Now watch this Geraldine. What? How can you do this? Bahaha now you are defenseless. You will never defeat me. In the words of my friend Linda, never say never Andy Bird. Using all sorts of tactics today, aren't we Geraldine? There's no way in the universe that that sword can affect me. You'd be surprised what this sword can do, Bird. Andrew Peter Bird. With the power of this sword, blessed by Linda, I seal you deep below the Parthenon, never to be seen or heard of again. Citizens of Greece, Andy Bird has been defeated. You are now free and I have also gotten my revenge for John Witherspoon. My work here is finally done. It is with great pleasure that I, Linda, name this room after our late friend, John Knox Witherspoon. May he rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you Linda. Do you mind if I can stay here with you? I can't bear the thought of going back to the apartment in Amsterdam. it will remind me of John too much, and I won't be able to cope with the constant reminder that I'll never see him again. It's unbearable. Of course Geraldine. I can't imagine the loss you are going through right now. It must be very hard to process the loss of such an important figure in your life. I am, again, very sorry for your loss. We will remember John. We won't let his memory die. Thank you, Mifa, Linda. I know that somewhere, someplace in this cruel, cruel, universe, John will be having a good time. He's in a better place now. 
He'll be proud of you for your accomplishments in Greece. Thanks to us, the evil Andy Bird is sailed deep beneath the Parthenon. I don't want to take all of the credit. Without your sword powers, I wouldn't have defeated Bird. Let's hope he remains sailed away until the end of time. John's memory will live on. Inside us. We must continue his great legacy. I shall avenge my creator and destroy those who have wronged me.